Hello, my friends. I'm so glad to see you again. During the interview, the USCIS officer might ask you to explain the meaning of some difficult words on the N-400 form. They just want to verify your ability to understand and speak English. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on the 60 most asked vocabulary based on the feedback I've received from the actual applicants. Our goal is to provide you with the necessary knowledge to make sure you remember at least 60 words in this video. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. Claim to be a U.S. citizen. What does claim to be a U.S. citizen mean? What does claim to be a U.S. citizen mean? To state you are a U.S. citizen. To state you are a U.S. citizen. Registered. What does registered mean? What does registered mean? To sign up. To sign up. Vote. Can you explain to me what vote means? Can you explain to me what vote means? To elect new leaders. To elect new leaders. Hereditary title. Do you know what hereditary title means? Do you know what hereditary title means? A royal title such as prince or princess. A royal title such as prince or princess. Order of nobility. Do you know what order of nobility means? Do you know what order of nobility means? Like king or queen. Like king or queen. Legally incompetent. What is legally incompetent? What is legally incompetent? Having mental problems. Having mental problems. Mental institution. What is mental institution? What is mental institution? Hospital for people with mental problems. Hospital for people with mental problems. O. Oh. What does O mean? What does O mean? To have a debt. To have a debt. O taxes. What does O taxes mean? What does O taxes mean? To owe the government money. To owe the government money. Overdue. Can you define overdue? Can you define overdue? Past a deadline. Past a deadline. File a tax return. Do you know what file a tax return means? Do you know what file a tax return means? 
To send tax paperwork to the government. To send tax paperwork to the government. Non-U.S. resident. Do you know the meaning of non-U.S. resident? Do you know the meaning of non-U.S. resident? Not a U.S. resident. Not a U.S. resident. Communist Party. What is a Communist Party? What is a Communist Party? No freedom like China and North Korea. No freedom like China and North Korea. Totalitarian Party. Do you know what totalitarian party is? Do you know what totalitarian party is? Government controls everything, and people have no power. Government controls everything, and people have no power. Terrorist organization. Do you know what terrorist organization is? Do you know what terrorist organization is? It's an organization that uses violence against people. It's an organization that uses violence against people. Overthrow of a government. What does overthrow of a government mean? What does overthrow of a government mean? To remove a government from power. To remove a government from power. Persecute. What does persecute mean? What does persecute mean? To hurt someone badly. To hurt someone badly. Genocide. Do you know what genocide means? Do you know what genocide means? To kill a whole race. To kill a whole race. Torture. What does torture mean? What does torture mean? To hurt someone physically. To hurt someone physically. Kill. What does kill mean? What does kill mean? To cause a death of a person. To cause a death of a person. For sexual contact or relation. What is for sexual contact or relation? What is for sexual contact or relation? It's to touch someone's body when they don't want it. It's to touch someone's body when they don't want it. Military unit. What is a military unit? What is a military unit? 
a group that works for a government to fight in a war. A group that works for a government to fight in a war. Prison or jail. What is prison or jail? What is prison or jail? A place where prisoners are kept. A place where prisoners are kept. Prison camp. Do you know what a prison camp means? Do you know what a prison camp means? A place to keep enemy soldiers. A place to keep enemy soldiers. Labor camp. What is a labor camp? What is a labor camp? A place where people are forced to work. A place where people are forced to work. Weapon? Can you explain to me what a weapon is? Can you explain to me what a weapon is? It's like a knife or gun. It's like a knife or gun. Threaten. What does threaten mean? What does threaten mean? To warn to hurt someone. To warn to hurt someone. Weapons training. What is weapons training? What is weapons training? To learn how to use a gun. To learn how to use a gun. Crime. What is a crime? What is a crime? An action that breaks the law. An action that breaks the law. Commit a crime. What does commit a crime mean? What does commit a crime mean? To do something that breaks the law. To do something that breaks the law. Offense. What does offense mean? What does offense mean? A minor crime. A minor crime. Arrested. What does arrested mean? What does arrested mean? Handcuffed by the police. Handcuffed by the police. Cited. What does cited mean? What does cited mean? Given a ticket by police. Given a ticket by police. Detained. Do you know what detained means? Do you know what detained means? Held in custody by police. Held in custody by police. 
Charged. What does charged mean? What does charged mean? Police tell you you did something illegal. Police tell you you did something illegal. Convicted. Can you tell me what convicted means? Can you tell me what convicted means? To be found guilty of a crime. To be found guilty of a crime. Alternative sentencing. Do you understand what alternative sentencing means? Do you understand what alternative sentencing means? A different way to punish someone. A different way to punish someone. Rehabilitative program. What is a rehabilitative program? What is a rehabilitative program? A program to help someone restore health. A program to help someone restore health. Probation. Do you know what probation is? Do you know what probation is? You report to an officer regularly instead of jail time. You report to an officer regularly instead of jail time. Parole. Do you know what parole is? Do you know what parole is? The early release of a prisoner. The early release of a prisoner. Habitual drunkard. Can you explain what habitual drunkard means? Can you explain what habitual drunkard means? Someone who drinks too much alcohol regularly. Someone who drinks too much alcohol regularly. Prostitute. What does prostitute mean? What does prostitute mean? Someone who has sex for money. Someone who has sex for money. Procure. What does procure mean? What does procure mean? To find someone for sex. To find someone for sex. Smuggle. Do you know the meaning of smuggle? Do you know the meaning of smuggle? To take things to a country illegally. To take things to a country illegally. Controlled substances. Do you understand what controlled substances means? Do you understand what controlled substances means? You can buy it with a prescription, but with restrictions. You can buy it with a prescription, but with restrictions.
illegal drugs or narcotics? What are illegal drugs or narcotics? What are illegal drugs or narcotics? It's like heroin or cocaine. It's like heroin or cocaine. Immigration benefit. What is immigration benefit? What is immigration benefit? Things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Gamble. Can you explain to me what gamble means? Can you explain to me what gamble means? To play a game for money. To play a game for money. Pay alimony. Do you understand what pay alimony means? Do you understand what pay alimony means? To pay money to ex spouse after a divorce. To pay money to ex spouse after a divorce. Public benefit. Do you know the meaning of public benefit? Do you know the meaning of public benefit? Welfare like food stamps. Welfare like food stamps. Misleading. What does misleading mean? What does misleading mean? To give a wrong idea. To give a wrong idea. Selective service. What is selective service? What is selective service? Armed services and armed forces under law. Armed services and armed forces under law. Constitution. Can you explain what constitution means? Can you explain what constitution means? It is the supreme law of the land. It is the supreme law of the land. Form of government of the United States. What is form of government of the United States? What is form of government of the United States? Democracy. Democracy. Oath of Allegiance. What is an oath of allegiance? What is an oath of allegiance? A promise to be loyal to the United States. A promise to be loyal to the United States. Bear arms. Can you define bear arms? Can you define bear arms? To own or use a gun. To own or use a gun. Non-combatant services. 
Do you understand the meaning of non-combatant services? Do you understand the meaning of non-combatant services? Services that do not involve combat. Services that do not involve combat. Work of national importance. What is work of national importance? What is work of national importance? Tasks that are important to a nation. Tasks that are important to a nation. Civilian direction. What is a civilian direction? What is a civilian direction? A direction from a person who is not in the military. A direction from a person who is not in the military.